When I say that truth is not a left-wing value, I, I am telling the truth. The statement sex is not binary is an example of a lie. It's a big one, and we have a video up this week at PragerU titled, Sex is Binary. And it is given by an evolutionary biologist, a fellow at the Manhattan Institute. So when you say science says, it is a corruption of science to say it. Science, did science say that children should be out of school for nearly two years because of COVID? Sweden had the schools open the whole time. Nothing happened except that the students did not fall back. If you keep up with the damage done by closed schools, you will understand that, uh, the, for example, uh, it is about double the number of students who have to take remedial math when they get to college because their level of, of math is so low. As their level of writing and reading and, and everything else it was already bad because our schools, by and large, are awful. They're not uh, dedicated to education. Sex is binary. Here is the beginning of the video, and then I'm going to speak, going to speak to Dr. Colin Wright, Ph.D. in evolutionary biology. Asked to define the word woman during her Supreme Court confirmation hearings in 2022, Judge Katanji Jackson famously demurred, saying, I'm not a biologist. Well, I am a biologist, and I'm here to help. To that end, let me rephrase the question to Judge Jackson. Are sex categories in humans, male and female, real, immutable, and binary, or are they merely social constructs? Answer, real. That's just the way it is, and we all know it. Immutable, it can't be changed. And binary, there are only two sexes, not three or four or 57. This is true throughout the plant and animal kingdoms. An organism's sex is defined by the type of gamete, sperm or ova, it can or would produce. Males have the function of producing sperm, or small gametes, and females, ova, or large ones. There is no third gamete type. There are only two. Therefore, sex is binary. This shouldn't be controversial. It's just basic biology. Okay, we'll stop there. Every one as of much them. as I want to hear, the, the, and I have, obviously. You know, you did a great job, Colin Wright, and welcome to the Dennis Prager Show. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. It was such a great experience doing the video with, with your crew. Yeah, they're terrific. I do videos with them, too. I appreciate them equally. <laughs> so what does it mean to be an evolutionary biologist? So broadly, it's someone who either studies, you know, how life has evolved from, you know, the, when it first started, you know, many, few billion years ago, uh, up until now. So it's, I guess, formally defined as looking at how gene frequencies change through populations over time and how selection acts on organisms uh, that has kind of created the entire, all the, you know, the lush biodiversity that we see today. So when they say that science is on their side, uh, what, what, are they, what are they pointing to? Well, have, I, I, I'm sure you've heard their arguments. I've never quite followed that. How does science back them up? Well, they've sort of established, and this has happened in many domains, a sort of a false consensus by uh, really coming after scientists who dissent from these sort of mainstream political narratives. This happened to me when I first started speaking up about this stuff, and I ended up you know, completely derailing my career and making me sort of become the people's biologist right now. Um, so you get a lot of medical organizations who just sort of join in on this mantra uh, that sex is a spectrum. You know, there were no experiments that showed sex is a spectrum. There was no Nobel Prize given out for the discovery of the sex spectrum. Uh, this is just sort of something that's been you know, chanted by activists first and then has made its way into medical journals and it's just sort of reported as fact, um, sort of this eminence-based, uh, you know, consensus rather than evidence-based. Uh, and it's it's been a real big problem.